Well, it's been nine days since I had the effects of uh, you know what. And I'm off to the shop. We've run out of fresh vegetables. We've run out of flour for bread making. We've got no bread. Uh, tin stuff is all depleted. So, so walk to the shop, see um, what they've got. It's a little spa type shop in the village here. It's uh, about, I don't know, quarter of a mile away from where the boat is, just behind me. And uh, I'll take you along with me and see what they've got or what they haven't got. I'm a bit uh, dubious about going in the shop. I mean, I don't want to be touching shopping trolleys and food packets that other people have been picking up and putting down, so I'm getting a bit paranoid like the rest of the nation is, I suppose, and uh, wash my hands before I left and wash my hands as soon as I get back. And the bag that I use will just fold up and put away somewhere and not use it for another week, just in case it's been uh, contaminated. So it's just weird, 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 is all I can say. Anyway. I'm an idiot also, because uh, climbed on the front of the boat the day before yesterday, lifted up the water hatch just to see what uh, state of the water tank is like, and then um, stepped off the boat onto the towpath and twisted my bloody ankle, the bad one. So that swelled up like a balloon a couple of days ago, and uh, it's gone down a bit now, but walking's a bit painful again. So, uh, two steps forward, one step back. beans, no tin tomatoes, so red kidney beans. Yeah, not good. Oh, I really love these. Salted caramel M&Ms. Oh yes. Well, all in all, I don't think we've done too bad. Got a bit of fruit, got a bit of vegetables. Uh, we've got bread, we've got mushrooms, we've got some tin stuff, dog food. So we can cobble along again for another few days. So yeah, not bad. Well, that was a little bit better than I expected it would be. Uh, not much, well, virtually no fresh veg. We'd managed to get some leeks. We've got mushrooms, so we can have leek and mushroom pie. Uh, no tin tomatoes, no tin beans, no flour, no eggs. So uh, we have to move the boat today to fill the tank up with water and also get a delivery of coal. There's a road delivery at a bridge we've arranged at a bridge near Congleton which is a few miles behind us. So we've got to turn the boat around and head towards Congleton to uh, get the water and uh, pick up a few bags of coal. And uh, it means an overnight stay because they're coming tomorrow with the coal. I could maybe go to the supermarket tomorrow in Congleton. Uh, but that means a good mile plus walk there and back. And uh, my foot the way it is, I'm not sure I want to be doing that. But, um, oh, <coughs> it's walking lark. I've only done a few hundred yards and I'm pooped. Anyway, back to the boat. So I've just turned the boat around at the wind hole behind. Got about uh, two miles to go before the water point and uh, pick up the coal in the morning. 
they'd probably go to the supermarket in the town of Congleton and uh, head back here and moor up in exactly the same spot, all being well. It's a great place to be, it's nice and quiet. But uh, those hills in the background are so tempting, it's uh, tantalising. I wonder how long it's going to be before we can venture up there again. Well, it's Sunday morning, real blustery day, and we're off for a walk. And uh, although I'm feeling a whole lot better, walking takes it out of me. I just get so breathless, don't I? And uh, he does. He does. He does, doesn't he? <laughs> Can't even chop the wood up. I know. And so somebody gave us a load of wood. Um, um, Somebody just walking past the boat, knocked on the roof and just dumped a wheelbarrow full of wood by the boat, which was really, really lovely. And it's all cut up, but it's cut up that long and we need it mm -hmm. that long. <laughs> but you can't even do that, can you? It just, just takes it out of me. Like two little pieces of wood and yeah. he's, he's... Done in. Can't breathe. So, good job much stronger, isn't it, eh? So we've, uh, in search of this year's ducklings, Fran saw <laughs> some the other day, so they're about how far up, Fran? Half about a half mile? Half a mile up, I think. Oh, we'll see how we go. Night. They were brand new, so we'll go see if we can find them. We found um, well, toad spawn. Is it called toad spawn? I think so. Not frog spawn, toad, but it's big. We've just seen our first bluebell. Um, so, yeah, we're going to go and try and find the ducklings. And the Cheer far, us up. And the farmer's muck spreading on both sides of the canal so it's a, this reeks a bit doesn't it around yeah, here yeah no? but it's just it is just mucky spreading now so i'm not so worried the last stuff they were spreading was dust in the air but you can cope up with a little bit of a, a <coughs> nasty yes. smell the um project list hasn't had any more ticked off it yet in fact i think we've added <coughs> a couple of things to it yeah, we've like, had three things sitting there to thinking. It. <coughs> So uh, hopefully in another couple of days we'll get a bit more active. I've been uh, sitting most days with my feet up because the ankle is still swollen and uh, quite painful still, but uh, getting better. But the good news is it's day 14 for me today. Yeah. So if I get through today, I'm safe and hopefully I might be um, immune. We're hoping that maybe I was asymptomatic. So, yeah, um, I can't believe you haven't didn't get it from me. So no, living in such close quarters, unbelievable. It's those blackberry shoots that did it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I can go back to the shop now and buy the things that I want, buy the sweeties that <laughs> I like. <laughs> while we're locked down in isolation is a little bit of origami but origami with a purpose the seedlings that I sowed a couple of weeks ago the courgettes really need putting on they're just in little tiny egg um, box cells at the moment really need putting on 
The mixed leaves should have been pricked out a little bit earlier, but with things that have been going on, they haven't been. So these are going straight into a trough. I'm just going to pick out a few little plants at a time, pop them in the trough and pot these on, but I didn't have any flower pots. Um, and another YouTube channel uh, showed us how to make these fantastic little plant pots out of a single piece of newspaper. So I've been having a go. They're not perfect, but they will be fine. And when the plants are grown, we can literally just plant those into a bigger trough or bigger pot. So there's no waste in there. I will put the link on for the YouTube channel if you want to make your own down there somewhere. But in the meantime, you can see me fumbling around with a piece of paper and see how I get on. leaves here mixed lettuces there I think there's room for a little row of radishes to go in between here that will come up very very quickly yes there is yep <laughs> <laughs> the boss says yes <coughs> the reason I sow these indoors these little lettuces is because they really need a bit more heat to germinate this time of year um, so the egg box was perfect to start them off they were up within two days but they will now live in the crutch with the covers all down and I think they'll be fine even with the cold nights. The courgettes will go out there during the day for maximum light and we'll bring them in at night because it's too cold out there for them so we just have to remember to bring them in and out but they've already got their next lot of leaves coming so the timing's perfect because it looks like we're going to need all the fresh veg and salad that we can grow because there's not a lot in the shops at the moment and I think maybe two weeks we'll be able to start picking leaves off of these and having them in sandwiches or as a salad on the side of a meal. So easy isn't it to grow salads? It is so easy. You just don't need any room at all and uh, two rows of salads like that will keep you going for weeks. These are all what you call cut and come again lettuces and salads so you don't pull the plant up you don't get a hearty lettuce you just pick leaves off so you literally pick as much as you need, whether it's just for a sandwich or to make a bowl of salad with, and it just keeps growing. And I think I'll probably sow some more now, ready for the next lot, so we can keep a succession going all over the summer. Have a go. Chilly for dinner, but i um, been to the little local shop, which is just about um, managing to provide us with what we need, but no garlic for days. So I've been off up the uh, local woodland supermarket again. <laughs> <laughs> Picked a big bag of wild garlic. And uh, we've put, I've put a lot more in. This is the last little bit going in. And uh, wild garlic just going into the chilli, just to give it that little bit of flavour. I don't know why I've cooked so much chilli. <laughs> you always do, but we seem to eat it though, we don't we? We will eat it, it'll be fine. So, um, thank goodness to nature providing for us yet again. Garlic, uh, chilli without garlic just doesn't work, does it? So that's tonight's dinner. Tomorrow's Tomorrow dinner. lunch. And, and dinner. <coughs> <laughs> and maybe the dogs will have a little bit tomorrow night too. What do you think? <laughs> Looks okay though. That's fine. I've just come back inside Oops. after flying the drone. It's a beautiful, beautiful still evening and it's gorgeous. And look at the size of the moon. And tomorrow night is apparently a pink moon, a full moon and a super moon. Don't ask me what that means. A full pink super moon. I think it's just that it's the it's closest point in its elliptical orbit. It's the closest point to Earth for some moons are further away. But it's going to be extra big, extra bright tomorrow night. And of course, I know this for a fact. When I used to work in a doctor's surgery, the doctor's surgery, the day after a full moon, was full of people. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> so... Um, 
Yes. I don't know what's going to happen in confinement on a narrowboat on a full moon, but we'll see. Oh, hell's bells. <laughs> oh, look at that heron over there. Oh, uh, yeah. You have to count your blessings, don't you?